Roman Catholic. And basically my argument is that since January this year, every abortion performed in Dublin, in Ireland, is unlawful, according to the 2018 Act. In particular, Section 26, which um, holds a criminal offence on anyone guilty of willful neglect in relation to abortion, any individual or body corporate. And how do you think that standing in the European elections then will advance your, your cause? Well, basically what I'm saying to women, the average pay for abortion malpractice, uh, cancer malpractice, is 200,000 euros. And I want every woman who has been had an abortion in Ireland since January to be informed that they have been denied the facts in relation to the damage of abortion, including the risk of breast cancer, uh, preterm births, suicide risk, and so on. And how do you think that you, you standing as a candidate in this election then will advance your, 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 your cause or your platform? Well, there have been two uh, judgments in relation to this from the European Court of Justice. I did mention one, um, which is uh, the judgment in relation to vaccination against hepatitis B. This is case judge uh, C621 from the 21st of June 2017. And they say that uh, this particular individual, the family, brought a case because the, this man died of multiple sclerosis after vaccination. No family history, no other risk factors. And the court said that the uh, evidence was sufficient to award the family damages. But that was only one case in connection with multiple sclerosis after vaccination, which was the only factor involved. But with uh, abortion and breast cancer, you have experiments in animals which show that uh, you have two groups of animals that were pregnant. The group that was pregnant and gave birth is zero percent of breast cancer. And of those that were aborted, what would you say would be significant? 10%, 20%? Absolutely it would. But in fact, 77% of breast cancer after abortion. Everyone should be told the facts. For 300 years, this has been known. Well, what would you do then as an MEP to, to highlight the issues that you want to highlight? I mean, what, how would you see being an MEP uh, helping that? Well, what I would be requiring is a directive, an EU directive, that every woman should be informed of her consumer rights. And in other words, every woman in Europe should be told that the, one of the principal ingredients in relation to breast cancer is estrogen. Estrogen exposure throughout life. In pregnancy, it goes up 2,000 percent in the first trimester, and to interrupt the development of the breast before lactogenesis after 32 weeks, when the cells are completely developed and protected against cancer. To interrupt that is the main cause of breast cancer after abortion. It's important that women are told this. Uh, it's important also that the law is enforced here, Section 26, which says that if you don't tell women these facts, you're guilty and guilty of an offence punishable by 14 years in prison. So not only are the women being denied the truth, but the doctors are denied the truth. There's a huge amount of ignorance among even gynaecologists. Well, one gynaecologist who was pro-abortion, who was a victim on the 17th of May 2001 in the London Times, uh, perhaps a paper of the record, <laughs> I don't know about that, not anymore, but then at that time, 17th of May 2001, Dr. Thomas Sutterford, a gynaecologist, as I say, pro-abortion, uh, certainly not pro-life, said he found, studying the record, four times as much breast cancer in women who had abortions. That's another fact that women should be told. Four times as much breast cancer in women who had abortions. I'm just trying to figure out, what, as an MEP, would you be doing then? I mean, what, what, how would you, um, if you, if, if you were to be elected to the European Parliament, what, how would you use that position? So basically, I would be requiring the European Parliament to issue, uh, and to have issued by the uh, Commission, a directive on all member states throughout Europe, not just Ireland, but every member state, that all women in uh, Europe should be told the facts about the link between abortion and breast cancer, but not only that, but all the facts, the link between abortion and suicide. In a Finnish study, 700% increased risk of suicide after abortion. The risk of preterm birth. And many of those babies who do survive preterm birth suffer horrifically. So these are facts that are well established. If people want to look up the research, 
they can look at my website, myabortionchoices.com, or they can just go online, they can look at the Hush the Film, which I just posted all of the cover up. And the cover up has been there since 2003, when the National Cancer Institute have denied all the research. It's been known since 1745 that pregnancy protects you against breast cancer. Uh, 1745, that's nearly 300 years we've known this. But how many women have been told this? You Basic would knowledge that every woman should learn at, at school. At you, you mentioned your website there. You have been involved in a, in a legal action with the in, involved in the HSE who have raised concerns about um, one of your websites. Is that right? I, I, is your is your campaign or your candidacy at all connected with that action? Well, basically, I can't talk about any court cases that are ongoing, but I am trying to expose the uh, slow genocide by the Department of Health and their politicians, the uh, Nihal Merton facilitated uh, coalition that's in power at the moment. Um, this slow genocide on behalf of the population controllers and uh, uh, we, you could say facilitated through IMF and World Bank pressure. The purpose of population control is to make the population disappear, and that's my work. Is genocide. So uh, my action against the Department of Health, Sam Harris, Leo Bradford and company, is to expose the genocide that they've been involved in, not just through abortion, but also through, through abortion, in other words, the pill, which also, according to the World Health Organization, is an abortion, it, it's an carcinogenic agent, in other words, it's a primary cancer-causing agent. Informed consent requires women who are being given these drugs or being given abortions should be told all the facts. And therefore those women are entitled to compensation and I believe that this message has to be gotten out loud and clear. There is a belief in these European Parliament elections that we will see a, a larger number of candidates from the far right and from the far left and that you'll have a more powerful Eurosceptic force in the European Parliament. I'm wondering where do you stand on, on that spectrum in terms of um, uh, your, your, your own views? Well, my, my view would be that the, the lunatic left, left, as I would say, that the socialist movement, which from the time of Hitler in Germany had been um, involved in abortion and eugenics, uh, they would do very badly in this election. I believe uh, charity begins at home, and I believe that the Dublin Protocol should be enforced. In other words, you know, the Dublin Protocol means that wherever refugees arrive, the first country of arrival is where they should stay. So I'm requiring that illegal immigration should be curtailed. I'm also looking for abolition of this uh, carbon tax, the so-called climate change carbon tax. There's four percent of scientists believe in man-made climate change. There's a huge uh, doubt about whether the climate change is warming or cooling, regardless of the fact. Um, the man-made contribution in significance by scientific research, and there's no reason whatsoever that farmers and consumers and uh, producers should have to pay for a lunatic French uh, left-wing conspiracy that is totally unscientific. So I'm asking for the abolition of carbon taxes to wealth Europe uh, to increase uh, profitability and sustainability. Uh, last question, why should people vote for you? There was just another issue that I forgot to mention, one I mentioned that I'm a pro-life, pro-woman candidate, and I'm sure there are other pro-life candidates, and I ask you to give them the number two and three according to their preference. Um, but the issues, apart from uh, legal immigration, apart from the lunatic, unproven uh, climate change, the third thing that I would like to mention is, I would like to see Europe repay every man, woman, and children 40,000 euros for our bailing out of Europe in 2008. So in other words, because we bailed out Rothschild and company and others, um, who had unguaranteed, uh, they had unguaranteed bank loan investments, we are paying the, the tune of 40,000 euro uh, per man and child. We are all that back from Europe. So that would be the other question that I'd be um, calling on, that people should be repaid uh, everything that Europe owes. That's great. Thank you very much, Thank you. Thank you. That's great.